The American Museum of Natural History is known for its giant specimens, but its rarest is so small it's hard to see. This transparent material contains microscopic comet dust. It was captured in 2004 by a spacecraft that traveled into a comet's tail. The riddle was how to build a spaceship that can survive a cosmic dust storm. Comets are fundamentally uh, icy snowballs. It's the ices that uh, sublimate as you get close to the sun that causes the uh, particles to be broken loose and become the coma of the comet. The spacecraft was called Stardust. It needed special equipment to survive in a comet's tail and bring back samples for study on Earth. On the front of the spacecraft are what we call Whipple shields. And it's very critical that the particles and rocks that we're passing through as we go through the coma at 13,000 miles an hour, uh, that those rocks don't damage the solar rays or the propellant tank. The Whipple shields need to catch the comet grains before they can rip through the fuel tanks. If the uh, Whipple shield wasn't there and we had a particle go through and impact the, the uh, propellant tank, it would explode. <laughs> and uh, that would have taken out the, the spacecraft. Uh, would have been a bad, bad day. Stardust reached its comet in 2004. As it enters the tail, it sends signals back to Joe and his team. I remember the day we were getting ready for the encounter with Comet Vil 2. I was in this room when we uh, watched the telemetry data coming back. So we could see from the dust flux monitor that we were getting particle hits Seven particles pass through the outer bumper of the Whipple shield. Thanks to the Whipple shields, Stardust survives the journey into the comet's tail and carries comet samples back to Earth. <laughs>